Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create merge replication in SQL Server 2016. In this video, we'll be looking at security best practices during our demo. And once our replication is set up, uh, we will use replication monitor to see the status. And if there is any issue, we'll check um, the issue using replication monitor and fix it. Uh, in this video, I'm using three set of servers. Uh, SQL Prod 1 is my publisher, and I'm using a separate distributor, a separate SQL Server instance as distributor. TBS Prod is going to be my distributor. You do have a choice uh, to not use separate SQL Server instance as your distributor and um, make your publisher its own um, distributor. And I'll show you in the demo in a second. And SQL Prod 2 is going to be my subscriber. Let me show you my setup. So SQL 1 in my case is going to be my publisher. This is where I'll be creating the merge replication and merge replication is going to be set between SQL prod 1 and my subscriber SQL prod 2. And this is uh, TBS prod that is going to be my um, distributor. So let's go ahead and set um, merge replication. Right click on lo local publication, click on new publication, click next. And this is the database that I'm going to set uh, replication on. Click next. And since this video is about merge uh, replication, so we're gonna choose merge publication and click next. This is your subscriber type. Uh, is it going to be SQL Server 2008 or later? Or you want uh, your subscriber, if your subscriber is 2005, you need to click this. Uh, SQL Server 2005 for backward uh, compatibility. File stream is not supported, uh, as you can see right here. A date and other new data uh, types are not supported. So let's click next. Um, my subscribers are SQL Server 2016, so I'm okay. Click next. Choose the tables that you want to um, take part in this merge replication. In my case, I have two these two tables as um, as a part of a merge replication. Click next. When you create merge replication, it um, uh, creates a unique identifier column will be added to the table. This is um, it won't be it. You can see it in the when when you look at the table structure. But as soon as you delete your merge replication, that um, that column gets deleted. So it is just for the merge replication to merge the data to do the synchronization. Click next. If you wanted to add the filter by writing a query, you can do that here. Click next. I'll be creating the snapshot immediately for this demo. You have a choice to schedule it. If you wanted to schedule it, right here is your schedule choice. I'm gonna unclick this because I want to do it immediately. Click next. And snapshot agent. So uh, your snapshot agent will be at your distributor, wherever your distributor is. If your uh, primary server or if your um, publisher is going to act as a distributor, you need to set up the security. This will be creating um, a, a snapshot for, for your selected uh, published tables or objects in the database and also get all the information about the first uh, initialization data and um, schema. So make sure that this uh, uh, agent or the account that you give uh, has the permission to go on your um, distributor and write that snapshot into the snapshot folder. So it has to have a write permission also in the distribution database. I would recommend to use a separate account, a separate um, replication account. In my case, I do have a separate replication account that has all the permission that I need on my subscriber, distributor, and uh, uh, publisher. Provide the password right here. Click OK, click Next. I want to create the publication, yes. You can. You have a choice to create the script and use that script um, as your backup. Click Next and give publication name. 
and click finish. It is successful. Let's close this and create subscription for it. As you can see, the two arrows pointing to each other, that means it's a merged replication. So I'll right click on my merge replication and add subscription to it. Click new subscription. Click next. And this is the subscription. This is my publisher. And this is the uh, publication that I just created for merge replication. Click next. And where your merge agent um, will run, um, I want my merge agent to run on distributor. In my case, it's a separate SQL Server instance and it's for push subscription. You have a choice to create, uh, to let your agent run on a subscriber and that will be for pull subscription. But I'm gonna use the push subscription. Click next and add your subscriber to it. And this is SQL Pro 2 is going to be my subscriber. So I'm gonna connect with that. And this is the database that I'm on, on the target, on the subscriber, that I want my table uh, to have merge replication. Click Next. And set up the security for your merge agent security. This is the same thing. I would recommend to have a separate account and have uh, all the permission that's needed for that account. If you decide to use SQL Server agent service account, that account might, might not be, might not have permission on your uh, distributor or the subscriber. So I would recommend that you should have the account, separate account for replication and uh, set up on all your subscribers, um, all your uh, pub publisher and uh, your distributor. Click OK. Next. And I want it to run continuously for this demo. You have um, a choice to run on demand. Click Next. And initialization, um, do you want to initialize later or do you want to initialize right away? So I'm going to do that for this demo immediately. You have a choice at first synchronization. When, when first synchronization happened, it should initialize it. So I'm going to click it immediately, go ahead and initialize it, and click Next. And what kind of uh, subscription is that? Is it client subscription or server uh, subscription? In my case, it's a service, uh, server subscription. I want to, um, the TBS Prod 2 is a SQL server, so I want a uh, merge replication to be set up between uh, publisher, that is a server, and um, Subscriber that is also a SQL server, but you have a choice to click if you want to do it at client side So you can click on client and set that merger application. I'm going to select server and click next create the subscription And click finish Click close and Let's monitor using our replication monitor. First, we will see view Snapchat agent status. As you can see, the, the snapshot is created with two articles. I've selected um, two tables for this merged application. So I'm going to close this. This looks good. I'm going to launch replication monitor to see the status. open your publisher you can get right much detail uh, using replication monitor and also you can look at the issues that if it has failed you can take a look why it failed so right click on the synchronization view detail and see what it did as you can see the initialization happened schema changes happen upload uh, to publisher everything is here so if there is a um, issue and you can click on that uh, error and it'll tell you right here that why that is the issue. So agent is completed snapshot agent. Let me click on SQL prod one. This will show you all the uh, publication if there are multiple publication. You can click on um, that public particular publication and take a look on that using replication monitor.
everything looks good so let's test it let's go to our subscriber and see if those tables are there the tables are here so let's check the data on the subscriber side then we will add a record on the subscriber side and see if it flows to the publisher I'm selecting a, the records from tests rep as you can see right now there's only one record this is the rogue width uh, this is the um, column that that uh, merge replication added when we were setting up merge replication this was the warning that it, it told us that it's gonna add a, um, a, a rogue width column for synchronization purpose so let's insert um, another record let me go on publisher and see how many records are there click execute as you can see there's only one record so let's go back to the publisher side uh, subscriber side and add a record to it and see if it flows let's add the record might be two Amir and you can give the last name all right let's select right now the data So we have two records right here on the subscriber side let's go on the publisher side and see if we have two records if it's gone to our publisher currently it it didn't but let's wait a little bit now it's uploading the data changes to the publisher and the record should show in a minute As you can see now we have that record that we added in our subscriber and it showed on our publisher keep in mind right here SQL prod 1 is my publisher and uh, SQL prod 2 is my subscriber so let's add the record another record on our publisher side and see if it flows to our subscriber I'm gonna save this and let's check on our SQL prod one this is our publisher and see how many records we have we have three records right here so we'll go on uh, SQL prod two and see if this record has updated here right now it isn't um, you can go and take a look on your uh, replication status So it's going to wait for 60 seconds before pulling for further changes so after 60 seconds that that um that record should be there now we can close that and just refresh our query to see if the record is flown as you can see that um, it is on sql prod 2 the new record that we added so our merged replication is working fine so that's, that's it for uh, much application and I hope this video helps.